All right. <clears throat> Aries. Uh, let's have a quick look. Right now, Ace of Pentacles in reverse is the current situation. There is definitely a situation here where something's just not getting off ground, okay? So this could be a delay in a commitment or there is a missed opportunity. We'll see why. What you're doing right now is Eight of Pentacles. So it looks like you're very focused on your work, your career, your goals, your business, your money. What's on their mind is with the Seven of Wands in reverse here. It looks like this person was very defensive towards you, okay? They felt like they felt like keeping their guard up when it came to you. They were standing their ground about a certain situation but it looks like they're letting their guards down okay they're gonna let you in this could be someone who's blocked you or uh whatever right could be even blocking communication okay they were trying to keep you away from them okay but now they're losing their guard all right four of wands in reverse and your feelings with the four of wands in reverse here you probably are feeling that this person is someone who's not wanting to give you a commitment or someone you know who probably is uh, wanting a relationship with you but they're lacking that stability all right or security within the relationship when it comes to you could be dealing with someone who's non-committal also okay in their emotions is the ten of cups so this person definitely wants a happily, happily ever after with you okay they look at you with someone who wants a family they want a family with you the dogs the hamster kids etc okay so they see you as someone who is in the long term they're gonna you're gonna be they're gonna make you you're gonna make them emotionally very very happy i don't know why i can't talk mutual energy is the ten of wands here so it looks like because you both are i am really getting no one's addressing the elephant in the room that's what I'm getting here. Because with the Ten of Wands here, it's a pressure for both of y'all. You're both feeling burdened and overwhelmed day by day, okay? Because no one's addressing the real situation. You're focused on your thing, okay? And you're probably even ignoring this person, okay? Because this person was very guarded, okay? They kept you at an arm's length. Now, with the King of Wands here, I don't feel this is you. Yes, what action you're going to take is the King of Wands here. But I don't see as you as taking action towards them. I feel you're going to do what makes you happy, okay? You're someone, you're um, uh, getting into that very masculine energy, Aries. So, you're just going to do what's good for you. And you're someone who's just going to get up and go do it, okay? So, I'm literally getting, you're not going to wait for this person to come towards you, okay? If this person doesn't come, screw it, okay? You're going to go ahead and find what you're passionate about. Ace of Cups is their action, okay? So, yes, this person is finally ready to open up emotionally to you, okay? And they want a brand new beginning in love with you. The outcome between you both is the star here, okay? So, yes, there is a wish coming true, okay, for you, Aries. It looks like you're the one who's literally wishing, hoping, praying that things can be okay between you guys. So, yes, there is a wish coming true for you, Aries, but not exactly the way you want it to. So, yes, what I'm getting here is this person is coming back to you, but not with commitment, not with something stable, not with something secure. But, yes, they're ready to open up. They're ready to let their guards down, and they're no more going to be defensive towards you. All right, let's clarify. What do I need to? Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse here? I'm not going to clarify everything, okay? Just the main basic things. Why is the Ace of Pentacles? Whoa. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Someone needs to make a decision. There's someone here who needs to make a decision, okay? But there's, they're just holding back. This person is making you wait, okay? They're making you hold. It's, it's in this person's hand to make a decision, okay? And this was becoming too much for you. It was this relationship, rather than giving a lot of emotional fulfillment, it was becoming more of a stress and a burden to you. So you let this, uh, you let this relationship or this connection go, okay? And you could be holding on to this person very, very tight, but you finally release them, all right? Because it was a situation which is going nowhere and you were fed up of waiting for this person to choose of whether they want to commit to you or not or whether they wanted to be with you and move to the next level or not, okay? That's why it's a missed opportunity. Uh, all right, uh, let's see. Why is the Seven of Wands in reverse here? I'd like to clarify them more than you. Why is the Seven of Wands in reverse here? Great. Hierophant. Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords in reverse. This person clearly is very, very afraid of you. Okay. They're losing ground. If this person has been, like I said, they're very defensive towards you. They feel the need to, you know, keep you at a distance. They're letting it go. Okay. They're stressing a lot about this. They're stressing a lot about the commitment part because they do have the half into an upright. So it looks like this person definitely wants something stable, something committed with you. Okay. They do see this as a very spiritual connection. 
They want to be on the same page with you. But with the nine of swords, there's some kind of overthinking and overanalyzing that they're having. OK, could be to do with a past experience. So it's just that anxiety over being commitment phobic. OK, they just don't want to probably do it the traditional way. And with the Queen of Swords in reverse, it looks like you've cut them off, okay? But they do see you as someone who's definitely cut off communication with them and you're being very cold and not very loving towards them. That's why they are forced to let their guards down, okay? Tell me, what is the Ten of Wands here? Why is the mutual energy the Ten of Wands? Nine of Cups, Two of Cups in reverse. Give me one more card. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. See, the problem here is that this is becoming a burden that you both are getting stressed out. Okay. Now, what's happening here is that there has been a lot of love here. Okay. We have the Nine of Cups here. So, yes, this is a fulfilling relationship. Okay. For both of you, this is almost like a wish come true. You both make each other very, very happy. But there is a disconnection between you guys. And the only reason I see you guys are not seeing eye to eye right now is because of the Knight of Pentacles. This person is too slow moving. Okay. Towards you. You literally feel like, what the hell are you ever going to come towards me? You know, you literally feel like you're being fucked with. All right. The only problem out here is that this person is very slow to commit. Okay. Very, very, very slow. They'll take forever to come towards you. So if you're ready to wait, Aries, they're coming towards you. All right. That's what the problem is here. I don't see any other problem out here because the love is there. The emotional happiness is there. You know, this person also wants that forever with you, but it's just that they're very slow to commit, you know, very, very slow. That's like, a horse that's not even moving. Okay, so you can understand what I'm saying. Tell me why is the king of wands here as action? Why will Aries... Why is king of wands here? Two of swords. King of... Wow, king of wands for the king of wands here. Yeah. Um, Aries, baby, you're having a very hard time trusting your intuition. Okay, you're not being able to rely on your intuition right now. I'm getting that you're getting a lot of psychic messages. You're getting you, your intuition, your gut feeling is trying to tell you something, but you're choosing to ignore it only because of your past experiences with this person, which is putting you in this land of indecision. Okay, you're just not being able to make up your mind. But again, with the king of wands here twice, I feel you are very passionate about this person. You really want this person to take action. Okay, but you're just not being able to... Um, Get into a decision of what you want to do with them, okay? So I feel you're not even uh, giving this person a chance, but at the same time, you're not even letting them go. I feel you're in that indecisive mode, okay? Your intuition is asking you probably to do something, but you are fearing that you may make the wrong choice, okay? So you're staying in a more safer zone, okay? But with the king of wands, your twice, I definitely feel that you're so passionate, okay? Either you want this person to take action towards you, or this is just you who's going to be like, screw you, I'm still going to do what I feel like, okay? The king of wands is not a chaser, right? But he's someone who just does, he gets up and does things, okay? So you want more action, all right? And um, you've probably been waiting for this person forever with the two of wands. You're definitely someone who's made you wait, okay? Someone who's had that stagnant energy for a very long time, okay? And they're just sitting on the fence doing nothing about it. And that's why you had to let them go. Tell me about the Ten of Cups here. Why is, no, I know why the Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Why is this the action they will take? So action-wise, I don't think they're taking any action, but they will probably come towards you wanting a new beginning in love. Okay. Hangman. Empress in reverse. Four of Cups in reverse. So this person feels that if this is, there's going to be this stuck energy between you guys and they're going to miss out opportunities with you. Okay. They definitely see you as someone who shut them down and they see you as the one who got away. They do see you as with the Empress in reverse here as someone who doesn't give a shit to them. Okay. You're no more investing in them and uh, they feel you're not feeding, feeding the connection. You're not nurturing the connection as you did in the past here. All right. With the hangman here, they're changing their perspective. They're trying to get a new perspective about what they can do to move things forward with you. Okay. But yeah, it's that change of perspective, which is making them come towards you wanting a new beginning of love. Okay. So they're ready to open up emotionally and they're ready to be vulnerable. Tell me why is the star here? Why is this the outcome? I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to make it quick so that uh, the videos are not too long. Why is the star here? Tell me about the star, please. Tell me about the star, please. Tell me about the star, please. Me. <clears throat> hmm. The sun in reverse, the eight of pentacles in reverse with the seven of cups. I feel that.
that this person is going to come in, right? But when they come in, like I said, right, the star is a wish coming true, right? It could also be healing, but I'm getting more like this person is coming towards you. Okay, they want a new beginning, like I've said, right? They want, they, they have a fresh perspective, trying to see things from your point of view. But when this person comes in, right, I think, okay, so I'm getting a lot of scenarios here. Just take what resonates. It's going to get you in a lot of confusion here. I think when they come in, right, it's going to make you happy. It's going to be like a very fulfilling, like I said, right? But they're not going to come in the way you want them to. But the sun in reverse here, there is either someone either who needs to grow up Okay, or this is someone being overly optimistic. Okay, you still don't have real, this person still is not looking at things. Um, I think they're very overly confident is what I'm getting. Okay, with the eight of pentacles here, I feel they're still not putting in that effort that they need to put in. Okay, and they're very overly confident that you will take them back, which is putting you with the seven of cups here in this confusion mode again of what the hell do you want? You know, it's like you don't even want something stable with me. You don't want anything secure. You're coming back to me. We're starting the same cycle over and over again. So what the hell do you want? Seven of cups is wishful thinking, right? They're coming in with that energy of, uh, you know, um, keeping an open mind. So probably this person is again going to come in towards you, you know, which is not still going to give you the clarity that you need, okay? Because there is still that lack of effort from this person's uh, side. They're going to keep you confused, you know. Seven of Cups is the energy of wishful thinking, dreaming, but not taking action, not narrowing down your options, you know, keeping your options open. So, yeah, that's the kind of energy that this person is going to come in with. They're still going to keep their options open. Yes, with the Ace of Cups here, they want that beginning with you, all right? But again, it's like, to me, it feels like when there's a decision here, okay, I feel that you've gone to a, with this person a very long way, okay? And now they're coming back to, do, to, the, to doing the same thing again, okay? It's like, let's start again. So for you, it's getting you confused, like you're coming in towards me, right? But again, there's still that lack of clarity that you really, really need, okay? You want to be, you want that light to be shared on that um, confusion that you have, which is still not happening here, okay? So I feel Eight of Pentacles in reverse, you're just still not going to put in that work, that effort that can make things work out. Or this is this person here who's coming in towards you, who's going to create a lot of confusion here, still, you know, leaving you in the dark here, and they're still not going to put in that 100% when they come in, okay? But yes, there is something that's going to make you happy or wish fulfillment like i said they're coming in towards you but again not the way you expect them to all right i hope this makes sense to you guys do like share subscribe guys um leave your comments below i'd love to hear from you and i will see you next time Bye bye